Welcome to another fishbowl inventory tutorial from Brando Consulting. In this tutorial, we're going to go over installing the fishbowl inventory barcode scanning software. What you're seeing in this video, most of it will also apply to your iPhone as well. So let's get started. We'll go to the Play Store and I've already typed in fishbowl inventory as the search criteria and it's already pulled up fishbowl go and that's the barcode scanning software by fishbowl fishbowl go we'll click install install that let's go ahead and open it now the first thing it wants to know is the IP address of your fishbowl inventory server and the easiest way to find this is to go to the fishbowl client that already is connected to the fishbowl server click on the magnify glass just to be sure that your server is on and there's your IP address right there 192.168.2.3 192 oh it's not letting me type we've got a pop-up here that says allow to take pictures sure you bet that's an awesome feature in this device is you can upload pictures of your parts to the parts database so you'll have pictures of your parts it's awesome say allow yes we want to allow that let's put in our IP address 192.168.2.3 the port number is next should match this port number here and then I have another user set up I called Android and I'll talk about why I set up another user in a minute but don't use the admin for this that's not good click login okay so here's the first error message I wish it wouldn't call it an error message that seems kind of in intimidating but it's really just a message it's an instructional message it says a new integration application has been added to fishbowl the new integrated application is Fishbowl Go. Fishbowl Go is trying to connect for the first time. It says, please contact your Fishbowl administrator. In this case, that's probably you, to approve the integrated application. So let me show you where to go to approve the application. Let's log into Fishbowl as administrator or any user with rights to this. And then we're going to go to integrations, or excuse me, we're going to go to setup settings then to integrated apps then we'll see that this connection request status is pending fishbowl go pending so we'll highlight that and over here on the right hand side there's a little tiny green checkbox check that notice the tooltip says approve now it's accepted okay let's go try again we'll click login building cache that's good and we're logged in looks awesome okay let's see if we can use the screen we'll click pick and oh we got an error message what did that say did you see that down here I'll click on another button we get the same error message let's pull that up again contact your fishbowl account manager for access to this module okay so it looks like we don't have user rights to the module so let's go take a look at user rights. We'll go to setup user group, not user, user group. And we'll say this is the warehouse person. We'll go to access and we'll look for fishbowl go. Come down here, fishbowl anywhere, fishbowl time and labor. There is no fishbowl go. Hmm. That's a mystery, right? What's going on here? So what's happened is, and this is a common, common problem or common mistake, is we haven't yet installed the fishbowl go portion onto the fishbowl client. So let's do that next. We go to integrations, go to plugin, and here are all the plugins. So Fishbowl Go is a plugin to Fishbowl Inventory. And right here you'll see Fishbowl Go 
click the install button agree to the terms sign your life away there plugin has been downloaded please restart your server to complete the installation okay let's follow the instructions so we're going to come over here to the server and we'll double click on that it says restart it so we'll click stop click OK the server has logged you out yep it's going to log everyone out it's going to force everyone out when we restart it take that into consideration if you're actually live using fishbowl you want to do this after hours right then it says restart so we're going to start and let's log back in one two three and see if our fishbowl go is installed I'll click cancel on that so we'll go to integrations plugins and mm, looks like it's not installed let's try something else it said to restart the server but we may have to completely reset the server meaning completely shut it down and exit out of it so I'm gonna go down here right click exit okay so it's not running at all we'll go to the fishbowl server now and there it goes it's starting up wait till the yellow dot goes away and we'll be able to log in I'll go ahead and get the client starting to run and the yellow dot is gone so let's try to log in again let's see if fishbowl go is up there now we'll go to integration and oh look at that fishbowl go that's what you should have you should have a new screen fishbowl go is currently not activated would you like to activate it now yes yes we want it active <laughs> okay so we'll go over all these settings here in a minute so that's nice you've got fishbowl go it's got a screen on there um, what we were trying to do is give user rights to the Android user so let's go to user group make sure the warehouse user group has access to fishbowl go so we'll go to fishbowl go and okay it still does not have access so let's give it full rights right now you may want to give different rights to different people in your warehouse so this is awesome think about who you want to have rights to what and I've got a user that I just called Android okay I've got quite a few users here admin Android and outside those are those are my users and this is a database I created from the QuickBooks sample file. You can watch that in other videos. All right, so we should be able to log in now, right? Let's just click Save to be sure. Save those settings. We're logging in as Android, which has rights to Warehouse and rights to Fishbowl Go. So let's try again. Hmm, we're still getting this error message. Now, this is where this is where the geeks are separated from those who want to throw the computer through the window, right? <laughs> um, this is where we put on our troubleshooting hat and we say, okay, let's just go through troubleshooting steps, right? So a good first troubleshooting step would maybe be to turn it off and turn it back on. Uh, almost, almost always that fixes it. That fixed the previous problem when we, when we restarted the server right that didn't work so we exited out of the server we just tried something else okay so don't don't let it discourage you let's just try something else we'll log out and log back in two three log in okay that looks good let's click on picking awesome this is the fishbowl inventory barcoding technology called fishbowl go so in, an, in another video I showed you how to print out barcodes you need to have barcodes on your parts and your locations so you can use this and I'll make 
more videos on picking, uh, shipping, packing, receiving. On another video, I think I'll just pause and go through each one slowly and, and in more depth. So if you'd like to see more videos from Brando Consulting, please subscribe and you'll see what videos we come out with. It'll be fun. And if you have any video ideas that you'd like me to do, don't hesitate to comment and make a request.